What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for May 30th, 2024. Now, we have a couple interesting events here, and I'm also going to be using the images from the Chinese WeChat and not the Facebook or English post, because, well, the English ones just aren't out yet, so it's weird, they're not there, but the Chinese WeChat ones are, and we're going to show them to you for once, so it's going to look a little weird, but it's interesting. We have a special Soul Awakening currency that now has a pity timer. We have a way of potentially picking uh, older, maybe holiday treasures that have passed in a special treasure train event. We're gonna talk about all that here today. So this is weird, be prepared. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's talk about these week's events. <laughs> All right, so we have Star Alchemist Holmes Young here as the update image. We have, of course, Imp's Adventure, and we have the Campaign Event Week, so that's going to be your daily login rewards. We have a very normal-looking Imp's Adventure. However, as normal as this is, uh, Shelter Mission, still the same, yet four-star gear, five dice for each. Yes, it's nice that there's an Eloise for early game accounts, wall deck for tenant spots, uh, Holmes Young for potentially Star or no, not Holmes Young. <laughs> Isla Mock for potentially a Transcendent Hero. Vesa, uh, stay away from light dark heroes, the usual. Now, sadly, it looks like last month's event was just a special one. The Star Spawn cores are back to being full price and not half price. There's no treasure train chest, there's nothing like that. I don't know why they just couldn't leave it. Like, they should have just left it. I don't know why it's back to this. We'll have to see. Maybe, maybe the English translations will have something different. But usually, these Chinese WeChat ones, um, usually they are what I would call the correct ones. And let me just double check. Uh, yeah, the English version is kind of up now again. So... That's interesting. I'm going to combine a lot of images here because the next few slides, there's like an English version and a Chinese version. And the English version actually has more information on it. So let's jump over to those. So it looks like there are special packs that unlock based on your VIP level, VIP 10 being the biggest package here. And essentially, uh, you can purchase these and get special rewards. These right here, the, these currencies you're seeing, are special soul awakening currencies. So it's interesting. Um, I don't know how to take this. So there's this one, and then there's a secondary one that you can purchase as well. And these are special treasure train tickets. They're not gonna be using regular treasure train tickets for this one. They are special ones, which are interesting. Um, okay. Well, these are interesting to say the least. I'm not going to say they're good. I'm not going to say they're bad. They're probably not great. But, okay. This is the first event right here. This is called the Sacred Awakening Session. Uh, so, essentially, during this event, you consume the special currency, which you basically get from these packages. Uh, the odds of awakening a high-quality hero are increased for a limited time. If you don't get an A-quality hero or higher within 149 of these summons, you will get a guaranteed A- or above quality on the 150th draw. Once an A- or above hero is obtained, the guaranteed effect will not trigger again. So it's only a single time. And it looks like 45, uh, 95... Wait, do you have to buy all these? 108. Wait. <laughs> it's way too early in the morning for me to do this math in my head. 20 to 13 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. That's 130 from this. Okay. There is a special pack that we'll just jump to that gives you 10. Uh, so yeah, this is a this is a buyout type of event, which means you're spending what? Oh God, I don't want to do the math again. <laughs> 15, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, 300, 
350 so it's like a 350 buyout event for the guarantee of the a minus i mean granted you might get it earlier which is interesting and the wechat also says because you can purchase 10 of these by themselves for uh 100 starry gems a piece up to 10 times so you can do everybody can do this completely free to play 10 times and try your luck to see if you can get an a minus which again might be really good and then on top of that there's also this event which is called in english special treasure selection festival treasures show up for a limited time during the event select and search for the needed festival treasures in special search the selected festival treasure is guaranteed when pink orange treasure shards are found uh if no orange appears in 29 consecutive draws the 30th will guarantee an orange if no treasure of pink quality shows up within 49 uh the 50th draw will be guaranteed during the event the guaranteed attempts for obtaining the treasure can be triggered repeatedly so this one is repeatedly the other one is not interesting so you can pick two of their favorite holiday treasures and get them and then on top of that once again you can do up to 10 of these with starry gems which is weird to say that it's like with starry gems um interesting interesting to say at least at least that's what the translation says it might be something different than starry gems we'll have to see and of course like i said there's a 50 dollars pack right here i believe they didn't put a price tag on the english version uh and confirm it looks like it's only a one-time purchase so this gives you 10 of those special tickets as well as 10 of those special awakenings and then beyond that we do have just plain old normal value packages so really i'm gonna get more information on this event hopefully before it even goes live tonight uh there is potential for free to play to hit an a minus hero but it looks like there's no gala attached to it so spending a thousand starry gems and it might have to be starry gems not contract starry gems we'll have to see how that actually turns out could be could be interesting I don't think the treasure train tickets are going to be worth it necessarily because you can only do 10 of them that doesn't guarantee anything however you could high roll on this because it sounds like it just says there's a higher chance of getting better quality heroes out of this so it sounds like the percentage chance of rng uh will be better and if it's better then there's a chance so let me know what you guys think um <sighs> I don't know if there's going to be a stream tonight necessarily there is of course going to be the new game mode coming out as well so keep your eyes peeled for that or at least there should be uh hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know you guys think uh good things and bad things with this week spend your things as always but potentially free to play stuff as well we'll see see you guys next time